In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I want to take you along as Debbie, my mom, and myself hit a few new thrift stores. We found some really great stuff and I can't wait to share it with you. Is today good? It's very good. I'd say it's the end of a successful day. Well, you heard it guys, and I am very thankful for another successful day shopping. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's dive in. One quick note before we get started though, I just want to welcome you if you're new here to Flea Market Rescue. My name's Kelly Sherry and I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. Also, I love taking you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. So if you're interested in learning how to do some of this and you love a great shopping adventure, then I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. And there she is, like clockwork. Here's Hello. Debbie. I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Come on, ladies, let's do it to it. That's right, Debbie. Let's go. Let's have a great day. Green Market Rescue is on the search. Hey, Debbie found this Goodwill she used to go to, and she said it's really good. I can't wait to see it. Look at this. Isn't this cute? Oh, that's really cute. For Christmas. Yes. Yeah. I had to go check it out myself because I love little houses. They're so cute. Well, these are drawer, drawer pulls. No, there's no uh, prices. There's no prices on these? No. They're ski lifts. What is ski lifts? Yeah. Oh, they are cool? ski and lifts. I got those skis. That's I got a lot of cabin stuff. That'd be cute. It sure would. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, those are. I think that um, these are these are targets. So if it's five, it's a half. So it'd be two fifty. Okay. Yeah, I like the color and then the wood handles like that. That's really cool. Although this is speckled in paint, if you painted it white or you painted it black, it would look quite sharp. And for $3.99, how can you go wrong? This is kind of cute, but I think I have enough clocks. I love this square canister, but it's missing the rest of the canisters and its own lid. So I just needed to pass on it. Debbie found a tree, it's so cute. Yeah, I like that. Hey, mine is looking for There's some more of those, they might be tired. Oh yeah, they have tons of those. This is kind of cute, last. Oh, they got two of them. Oh, I don't know. I don't see them. Look at the other one. Oh, it's $3.99. $3.99? That's not bad. Right? Let's get one. Do you want both of them? Oh, no, you can have one. Well, Debbie didn't want one, but I gave one to my mom and I bought one. These are going to sell super fast. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that cutting board. That's beautiful. That is really nice. Oh, another one? Mm -hmm. Oh, grab them. This one ended up having a broken letter, so we had to put it back. Now this is some good stuff over here. Dried flowers, pretty. Today was the day of the greenery and the flowers. We came across so much of it, you would have thought that we were opening up a flower shop. But with spring right around the corner, I guess that's a good thing. Now I really love this to put around the tree. However, this one was $14.99 and I was just like, I'm not sure if I wanna get it. I probably could get it on Facebook Marketplace for the same price or cheaper. So I did end up passing on this, but I really thought this was very nice. Oh my gosh, this chair is $1.99. Yes, it does have a broken kind of seat, 
but you could cut that out and put a plant in it, paint it, it would look awesome. And for $1.99, that's crazy. Hey, I'm needing some shelves for my new shop. Let's check this out here. $14.99, I don't know. I'm more in the $9.99 range. The shop is really coming along though. Still needs a little more work. We're not ready to open, unfortunately, but we are getting there. I've been taping everything from beginning to end, so I'm definitely gonna take you along and show you everything that went into making this store. It's been quite a journey and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, getting back to shopping. So I came across this bag. Well, it's actually a basket, but it has handles and it looks more like a bag, but it was so heavy. Like I can't even imagine carrying it around. It was heavy and it didn't even have anything in it. And at $12.99, I've got to really be sure that I want something like this which I wasn't, so I did not get it. But I really love the color of it, and it was very good quality. What'd you get? Oh, sour yeah. cream applesauce. Yeah, that's nice, I didn't even this see This way, those. if you make potato pancakes. <gasps> potato pancakes. Yeah, you got your applesauce and your sour cream already. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> now you're making me hungry. Oh, you got a little bunny? Show me yeah. the bunny. Oh, how sweet. Yep. You know me with bunnies. I know, bunnies and birds. Yeah. Those are cute. I, know, I thought those were cute. Yeah, yeah. they're very cute. To put them in a can of stick or something. I don't want them, does anybody want them? Just to hang in a can of stick or something. How much are they? $3.99. They're cute, huh? Okay. For a candlestick? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then there's, we have three of these. Let's see. Look at those. But do you see right there? The L was broken. Bless. Nice. Yeah, that is really cute. It kind of looks like the kind of plant I would grow to it, kind of like it's half alive and just surviving. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't made up its mind yet. Yeah, it's just surviving. Well, that was it for that Goodwill, and we did find a few cute things there. That was the Goodwill in Clylo, Michigan. Our next stop was the Goodwill in Birch Run. Can I say, this is the cleanest store I've ever seen. The first thing I came across was this bike handle and basket. If I can get it out without knocking everything over, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Oh yeah, this is super cute. I am putting it in the basket. Let's just take a little look here. That clock's pretty interesting, but again, I have enough clocks. Oh, yeah. Debbie already found something. That's cute, Debbie. I just want to show it to you. Oh, yeah, it's cute. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I love how she shops for me and my mom. She'll see something cool and just think of us and like, hey, I saw this, thought you might like it. I love Debbie, she's awesome. And judging from the comments, you guys love Debbie too. If you haven't had a chance to see Debbie's house tour, you're definitely gonna wanna watch that video. All her stuff is from thrifted finds, garage sales, or off the curb, and her house is absolutely beautiful. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So what I would do is rip off the ivy and replace that with some really nice moss to make it look more high-end. I actually did this with a really large topiary. Here it is in our booth. And it basically looked just like this to start with. So yes, I ended up buying this and that is my plan. So a little bunny or something for Easter on there. Oh cute. yeah. Or even yeah. a little baby's room with little stuff. How much is it? That is really sweet. Oh, it's right there it is. Oh. $3.99. Okay. You want it? I have a lot of bunnies. I think it'd be cute. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, this is really beautiful. I might have to get this. Ooh, but not at $12.99, so we're just going to put this back. I really like this and it can't be that much. 
Yeah, $2.99. We're gonna have to get this. I don't know what it is about these little mustaches. I love this. I actually just sold a sign that had a mustache. It was so stinking cute. Which reminds me, don't forget, next Thursday, we will have another online sale at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So what will happen is earlier that day in the video, I will show you like everything that's gonna be on the website later on in that day. This was from last month. And then on March 16th, at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time, you're gonna go to my website. Once you're there, you're gonna click on shop. And then after you click on shop, it's gonna take you to the shop page where you're gonna hit home decor. At five o'clock, everything that I showed you will be on that website ready to purchase. Things do sell out really quick, so if there's something you have your eye on, I would hop onto the page and go and get that right at five. Again, that sale will be next week. March 16th on Thursday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now back to the video. Oh, will you look at here? That is a Ray Dunn USA coffee mug. And Ray Dunn really sells good for me, so you want to keep your eye out for those pieces. Debbie's picking up a cabinet that she wants to put on her back porch, and this is going to be absolutely perfect. She bought this cabinet from 235. I've actually taken you guys here. It's in Marine City. It's really a gorgeous store. She sells paint, she sells all kinds of stuff and it's just really worth the trip. So anyway, this lantern that Debbie found is gonna be perfect for that cabinet. I was like, oh, look at this. This looks so cool with a galvanized steel and the burlap. But then when I looked at the logo, it said Jack Link. And I thought, okay, this is like some kind of company. So I probably don't want this. I mean, yeah, I could probably get rid of the burlap and do my own, but it just wasn't worth it to me. I love this sign, look at that, follow your dreams. I love that. But as I started to look at the sign, it was kind of dented up. There was a dent at the top, there was a dent by a letter, so I couldn't get this, but I loved it. If it was perfect, I would have gotten it. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. It almost looks like the one we saw earlier. It's square, it's beautiful, $3.99, it's the right price. We might have to get this. Wait a minute, this says T. Okay, so it was a set. Now is someone just gonna wanna buy T? I don't know. And if I don't know, I'm just gonna pass on it. Well, 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 look who got the pears. I saw those. I think they'd be cool on a yeah, I think so too. table. Yeah, I like that. They are really pretty and like she said, she can put them like on a table and they would look really awesome just all lined up together. She has a really good eye. One of those long bowls like that? Huh? Get one of the long bowls and put it's it on. It. Oh, it already is on there. It's on a metal thing oh. already. Nice. Then she ended up getting these candle holders, which I thought were really cool. They can hang on the wall and they were a pair. She has another one in the basket there. This is pretty cool, and I know it probably would sell, but this is $7.99, and I think that's a little expensive for this size of a jar. Very nice, though. The cart just came out, huh, Mom? Oh, yeah. You hear those wheels, you're running. We love it when we see a cart, because that's where all the new merchandise is. Thank you. Thank you. So stuff is gonna come. Hang on. How about your bags? See how she's always looking out for us? I didn't end up getting this, but it was so nice of her to ask me. Well, it was time to check out. Here's Debbie's little pile. It's gonna go on my deck on that new camera. Yeah, that'll be cute. Now across the street is a little shop that just opened and it's called the Unexpected Treasure Hunt and it has antique and vintage items. Now I heard some of the people from Colette's had went there and so we just kind of wanted to see what it was all about. I really like this brush idea with the photos. 
When I made my way to the back, look what I found. We just used some of this in a project. This is actually wallpaper, but it's textured to look like old tin oh, that wow. people would put on a ceiling or uh, a wall. And wow. also this can be painted any color. Wow, you could put that on really anything. Anything. You could put it on uh, just a regular can even. True. It has it, a lot of possibilities you know with what? it. Instead of actually cutting out tin, it would be so much easier for people to do. And I'm sure it comes in a lot of prints too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Where mm -hmm. did you get that? Well, I bought this a few years back. Uh -huh. Probably Goodwill Salvation Army. And I remember I only paid $2 and it's a pretty big roll. Oh yeah, too. for sure. You could do a lot of projects yep. with that. So that was a good find. That was a good find. And I'm going to use some of that on today's project. Yep. So thank you. I appreciate it. And that's exactly what I did. I put him on these wood cutouts that I got at the thrift store. One was a rooster and one was a pig. And look how cool that came out. So when I came across these rolls in the back, I was so excited. I was like, okay, I am taking these right up to the front. However, I didn't see a price on them. And when I got to the counter, she told me, no, I don't think those are really for sale. I think that they're just decorating their shelves with them. Needless to say, I was so disappointed. I really didn't find anything here, but my mom did find two things that she bought. What'd you find there? Yeah, square one. <laughs> square one? How much is it? Eight dollars? Eight. This one's seven. That one, the, the beads are coming up, but easy fix. That's nothing. Yeah. So she ended up getting those and we headed to Bay City after that. This is the Bay Antique Center in Bay City. It is just packed with stuff and some stuff is expensive some stuff is you know really reasonable you just gotta really look around i was mainly looking for stuff for my shop you know some bigger pieces that i could add in and incorporate just to make it look really cool and this place has a lot of architectural salvage pieces if you go in the basement that's where you'll find most of this but i will say it's just a little bit eerie down there I guess we should have told my mom where we were going. I think I'm gonna buy this. We, well, for shows, my mom sold hers, remember? <laughs> we don't have one now. We've always used an ironing board for our table that we cash people out on. We kind of, you know, have our credit card machine, we have cards and things like that, and they can put their stuff on the ironing board. But last year, my mom wasn't really feeling well, so she didn't want to do any shows. So we sold the ironing board and a lot of the stuff that we did shows with. And now we're going back and doing shows this year, so we definitely need another ironing board. So when I came across this one in the basement, I was like, oh yes, we are getting this. These old bushel barrels are pretty cool. Wow, look at this huge corbel. Here's an old claw tub, and at $275, that's not bad because I see them go for about $500, so that's really not a bad price. Didn't I tell you they have a lot of architectural salvage pieces? Wow, this arched window is just fabulous. I went upstairs to check on my mom, and she had already found a few things. I thought he is adorable. Oh! <laughs> Isn't he cute? He is really cute. How much is he? Two dollars. Two dollars, you gotta get him. Yeah. Some garland, very unusual. That is. Well, that's cool. How much is that? I think it's ten. Please. Ten? I think so. It's worth it though, because yeah. it is unusual, like you said. And oh. Then, a little bunny cart, huh? Yeah. How much is that? Six. Wow, six bucks. You yeah. can't beat that. With and it comes eggs. with the eggs and everything. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. Oh, yeah. You're finding some cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, my bathroom. Debbie. It matches my bathroom. It, it does. Sure. And she was right. This is her bathroom at Christmas time. 
That's going to fit in there perfectly because she has a lot of white and black. Oh my gosh, you have to get it. Yeah, you How have much, Dem? $8. Oh, for $8? Yeah, yeah. I don't want it, but you guys are going to make me get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're not going home until you buy this. Okay. My mom had told me that a lady told her there was more architectural salvage stuff upstairs, so I decided to go up there and take a look. Holy moly, these are the biggest shoes I have ever seen. Now, if I thought the basement was eerie, this was even eerier because it reminded me of an old department store. You know, like the one that you saw maybe like in an episode of Twilight Zone. Do you guys remember the mannequin one? Oh my gosh. Anyway, they had tons of columns and old doors. I mean, it really was cool to see. Wow, just look at that old ladder. This place is really cool, and if you ever get the chance, I would definitely go here because, again, they have so much to look at, and you can find some really good stuff. I ended up going back downstairs because I really didn't find anything that I wanted for the shop, and as I went to use the bathroom, I came across this little booth, 50% off. These are super cute, and they would only be $6.25. Well, I looked on my GPS to see the next store we could go, and there was a St. Vincent de Paul not far from here. Yep, this one right here. It's located in Bay City as well. Now what are you going to do with that? I have um, quite a few of the little metal old jello molds. And I'm just going to put those in here. Mm -hmm. and then, you know, you can put flowers or for fall you can um, put little pumpkins in the tins. Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. And I like, eggs I like those flowers too. Yeah. They're very natural looking. They are. I like those. They'd a be lot. beautiful, like in a white uh, pitcher. Okay. Yeah, I like that. They would. Oh, you're right. Oh, I yeah. totally could see that. Yeah, in a white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got it. What'd you get? Just a forsythia wreath. I couldn't even say that if I tried. <laughs> forsythia. Forsythia? Yeah. Yeah. And then what else? Just a little thing for running candle. Okay. Yeah. And a little oh, that's cute. The, the birdhouse. Debbie, I see you have something in your I hand. just have a little, just to sit on that cabinet, oh, yeah. maybe on one of the shelves. Yeah. Well, that was it for that store. So we headed to the Salvation Army in Bay City. This is kind of a cool pumpkin. I've been looking for binders for my shop and I think I found some. Oh, I might just have to get this. Now, I didn't mind that the chalkboard was scratched up, but the silver part was scratched as well. So I decided not to get that. Oh, I am really loving this five. Look at it, it's so cool. I'm definitely gonna get that. Yep, right in the basket with my binders. My mom is stocking up on the plants. Today is the day of the plants. Yeah. You would think we were opening up a flower shop. Wait until you see Debbie's van. Well, I might have passed on these pumpkins, but here is someone who did not. So I thought the next, you know, like at the shelf out in my deck next fall. Oh, yeah. Yep, Debbie went ahead and got them, and I'm glad because they are very nice. This is a cute basket. Oh, I might need to get this. I had a pitcher that had the exact rooster on it, and I really sold that quickly. Oh, look what's hiding down here. I think I'm gonna have to get this too because I really love it. It's super cool. Oh, this is cool. Okay, you see this yellow material here? I actually found it in the scarfs, but it would make a great table runner. It's perfect. Oh, just look at these corbels. Now, I know that they're actually for curtains, but you could fill them in if you wanted, or you could actually use them for curtains. They're beautiful. I 
think I'm going to have to get them if I don't break them first. Yep, I love these. Let's get that last one in here. Ooh, I'm spotting one more thing here. But after picking it up, it feels like it's kind of really light plastic. I don't know if I should get it, but it's not very much money, so maybe I will. So you found that hook? Yep. And? Two buckets on there. There's two. Um, so you just put them at different. Oh, heights. I like that. And that hook is the bomb, diggity bomb. Love it. And then put your um, green ring. Yeah. See? Yep. Love it. Isn't that cool? Yep. That's a great. Yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, I totally can see it. But I would put a knot. To oh yeah. In it. To and raise then, it up a little. Well, I mean, you can do it any way you want. Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. Well, I'm super happy with everything I got in the cart here. And if you ask me, I think this all goes really nice together. Time to hit the checkout, and we have one more store to go to. So our last stop is the Goodwill in Bay City. What'd you find? There's a bunch of uh, ah, is it? Just a little basket with. That's cute though. Yeah. You put moss in it and use it as a nest. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, you could. All right, he has that formation. Those are sweet. They're cute. You just sand this. Yeah. Huh? What'd you do with them, though? First, I thought they were cutting boards, but maybe they're not. They sure look like they should, but they must have had something glued yeah. on here. Yeah. What? I don't know. Trees? I love them. Huh? Those are cute trees. Aren't they? Yeah, two got, of them yet. I got some of that in the garage. I'll just wrap it around. Yeah, nice. Let's see what this is. Looks like a little ladder. Oh, that's cute. That'd be cute to that, hang. I like that. Bottles yeah. or something. I thought this was really nice, but I also thought that it was a little more than what I wanted to spend, so I put it back. There's no price, and there's only one handle. Okay, we're gonna put this back. Or maybe I could get this handle off. No, never mind. we're just gonna put this back. Oh, look at these. All right, we're gonna have to get these. Three for $2.99. Oh, what is it? It opens? Oh, it lights up. It lights up. Oh, that's cool. You hang it up, even. Yeah, that's Isn't cool. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. What else did you get? Oh, some apples. Are those apples? She loves her fake fruit. Remember when she got the cherries? Cherries. Oh, oh wow, those look realistic, oh, too. these are great. It's, oh, and it's a purple tag, so it's how much is off. Sweet. Look at those. They do look realistic. They look great. Three dollars. So I have the dollar fifty. Wow. Very yes. good. They're mine. <laughs> yep. Those cherries were realistic looking, and you know she's definitely going to get these apples too. Let's go see what Debbie's got. Oh yeah, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very rustic. Pretty. Not bad for five bucks. Oh, five bucks? Not bad at all. 
Well, as all good things come to an end, so was this day, and we decided to end it at the Cracker Barrel. So Debbie, was today good? It's very good. I'd say it's the end of a successful day. Mom, did you have a good day? Yes, excellent. You did get a lot of stuff too. I did. All right, let's go eat, girls. And you know, you always gotta take a little look around before you get seated. I love this calendar. Their food is just so amazing. I'd love to learn how to make that meatloaf, I'll tell you. It is the best. Both my mom and I had that. Well, we definitely had another successful day, as Debbie would say. Well, just look at the back of Debbie's van. It does look like we're gonna open a florist shop, but you know what, spring is around the corner and we're gonna need all that to kind of decorate our stuff. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed going shopping with us. I always love to take you along. It's just so much fun to go thrift shopping and I wish you all happy thrifting. And again, don't forget about our online shopping this Thursday coming up, March 16th, 2022 at five o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything will be on the website at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I will give you a preview of all the things that will be listed earlier that day in the video. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.